At Hawaiian Electric Company, we're committed to building a clean energy future for our islands. But that means more than just tapping into additional sources of local, renewable power. We're also making our electric system stronger and better equipped to meet our customers' future needs. Maintaining Oahu's electric system has always been an important part of our business, but in the past few years, we've taken it to an entirely new level. Hawaiian Electric's 138,000 volt transmission lines form the backbone of Oahu's electric system. By making equipment upgrades to those lines, we are strengthening those circuits, making them more reliable. Beneath the streets of Waikiki, upgraded power cables are providing more reliable electric service to the center of Hawaii's visitor industry. Across Oahu, utility poles are being replaced faster than ever. Those are just a few examples of Hawaiian Electric's grid modernization program. This is a comprehensive initiative to upgrade the electric system. The goal? Provide better service for our customers while making the grid better equipped to accommodate clean energy technologies. Grid modernization means incorporating technology into our grid. We're trying to incorporate new technologies such that we're able to predict or prevent outages from happening in the first place. But should an outage occur, we also want to be able to respond much quicker and faster. So asset management is a process focused on cost effectively managing the equipment on our transmission and distribution system while keeping the customers, employees, regulators, and the company in perspective. A lot of our assets are aging. So right now what we're trying to do is manage the assets that we have out there, trying to determine strategically as well as economically whether it's best to repair or replace. Why is this program necessary? Like many utilities across the nation, Hawaiian Electric installed most of its equipment during the boom years following World War II. More expansion came in the years following statehood. Now, after serving Oahu's electric customers for decades, that infrastructure is aging and reaching the end of its useful life. It's time to upgrade those facilities and take advantage of new technology. The way we identify equipment that needs to be replaced is that we currently have a maintenance and inspection program. We're in the process of making improvements to that program you know, using technology. In addition, we're working with our asset management department. They're currently developing asset strategies for our t and infrastructure. They've developed strategies for our 130 kV structures, poles, cables. They're currently working on asset strategies for transformers, switch gears, and other major pieces of equipment. Each asset management strategy that is developed results in a multi-year program which utilizes proactive instead of reactive approaches to upgrade the electrical infrastructure. This results in lower life cycle costs which ultimately maximizes the value of an asset. We've made significant progress. For example, in 2011 we replaced more than 1,000 poles on Oahu, a 67% increase from 2010. We also upgraded more than 140,000 feet of underground cable, more than four times as much as the previous year. While poles and power lines are some of the most visible improvements, we're not stopping there. Hawaiian Electric is committed to making improvements across the system. The amount of work being undertaken is unlike anything the company has seen in recent history. Since 2009, the company has significantly ramped up efforts to modernize the electric grid. Our plans to address our aging infrastructure is very aggressive. Their crews are working seven days a week. They're working extended hours during the weekdays as well as Saturdays and Sundays. We have a lot of 138 kV structures that we're trying to address. We have a lot of poles that are in need of replacement, a lot of cables, underground cables that are in need of replacement, as well as transformers and other pieces of equipment. Reliable electric service is more important than ever. However, we also need a grid that is flexible enough to integrate new advances in technology and increasing amounts of power generated by natural, renewable resources. Hawaiian Electric's grid modernization program aims to accomplish all of these goals. It takes a lot of effort and coordination to manage the increased workloads. It really is a tribute to our employees that they're able to meet and even exceed the goals that have been developed. This year we're making even more progress. As of early March, we'd replaced 49,000 feet of underground cable and more than 200 poles, putting us on pace to surpass the mark set in 2011. 
as you heard, at the same time we're upgrading transmission structures, transformers, and other kinds of equipment across the system. This has been a Hawaiian Electric Company News Bite. Thanks for watching.